Good morning, YouTube. I've got something a little different for you today. I'm going to talk about a product. This one. It's called Avalon King Armor Shield Light Fast Ceramic Spray. And uh, what is it? Well, as the name implies, it's a ceramic coating and it's made for the automotive and of course motorcycle power sports industry. I was sent this by Avalon King. They reached out to me so they supplied the product and I said I'll do a review, an unbiased review. So that's what we're doing here. It's pretty easy to apply and uh, that's that's one of the things that attracted me because usually ceramic coatings are a little difficult they're very expensive and I want no part of that I like simplicity so with this bike I thought you know what it gets filthy dirty right I mean on the trails riding through mud and whatnot and as I've mentioned in previous videos I hate with a passion cleaning my bikes I really don't like it so if anything's going to make it easier to keep them clean, then I'm all for that. And that's what I'm hoping with this product. I figure because of its hard, slick coating that perhaps dirt won't stick so aggressively to it. Maybe when I go to clean it up, it'll clean up easier. So that's the plan. In the meantime, it looks awesome. So the application is pretty easy. As you see, it's uh, just spray on and wipe off. You spray it on the cloth as well as the surface. You wipe it and then you wipe it off with a, I like a clean cloth to wipe it off. Now I did the non-shiny parts as well as the shiny parts and the glass or the clear plastic on my display including this right here which is more of a matte satin finish and thankfully the product didn't change the sheen of those surfaces so it it provides a deep deep shine to the shiny surfaces and maintains the satin or matte surfaces maintains their appearance so that's a good thing i also did this area here on both sides the plastic by the recovery bottle and also the fins for the radiator guards. You may not be able to see that too good. The lighting is bad there. But I was pleased that it took that kind of a gray uh, sort of weathered look out of those areas and uh, hopefully will make them easier to clean and keep clean. And the wheels. The wheels are I mean, we've got some nice polished, shiny black wheels here, so I want to keep them that way. And wheels are hard to clean. They also get the most abuse, right? You know, you get a little bit of oil splatter from the chain. You get all the mud and dirt and crap from the trails. And yeah, I like it. The feel is very, very slick. So there's the front wheel being done. All nice and beautiful. Yes. And I decided, why not do the skid plate? I didn't get right down underneath and, you know, but hey. Swing arm. Yeah, all the areas. So what do I think of the product? Well, have a look. Have a look at how it comes out. It does glass equally well as the surfaces. So if you're using this for your car, do all your windows and your windshield. Yeah, it really does nice there. This bike never ever had such a deep shine as what I've gotten here with this product. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Did the toolkit there, as you can see, and the chain guard. All the areas that are hard to clean. I did the fork tubes, but not the lower tubes. I'm not sure whether I could. Probably could, but I chose not to. Yeah, so 
what do I think? Well, down the line, uh, the, the test of time will, will be telling. I also, by the way, did the exhaust, uh, including the can there and the shield. And you can see how well the wheel came up. So I, I think it's, so far, I think it's a great product. I, I have, there were no downsides. It was super easy to apply. There was no, um, no messes, no muss, no fuss, no streaks. So give it a whirl. Yeah, Avalon King Armor Shield Light.